using text expander shortcuts to quickly insert keyboard symbols. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I wanna share with you a handy little tip that I use quite often, pretty much every single day when I make blog posts and when I tweet. Uh, and that is using keyboard symbols in these posts and in these tweets. Uh, let me show you exactly what I mean. So if you wanted to tell someone to press the control key on their keyboard, you could either do this, you could say press control, or you could do this, press like that. And see the difference there? You actually have the keyboard symbol uh, for, for the control key. Um, that is really nice. And of course, what I like to do, I like to actually do both and just say this. like that, so that they have both the actual text and the keyboard command. Now I do this by means of text expander. Um, so what I like to do is I like to open up text expander and I've just created a new group here. And then in this group, I just simply paste the, uh, the symbol keys into the content section. And then I put an abbreviation that makes sense down below. So for instance, the shift key I just paste the shift symbol there in the content section and then on the abbreviation, just, just exclamation point and then the word shift. Or for control, I just put in, well obviously I paste in the control symbol in the content section and then just put the exclamation point CTRL. And for the right arrow, which I use often in tutorials to, to indicate go to the next step, um, I just put in you know, exclamation point ARR. Uh, so obviously this is, you're going to want to adapt this abbreviation to whatever abbreviation methodology you use, um, with text expander. Hopefully you're using text expander first of all. Uh, but you can see why this is so handy. So what I'm going to do, actually, I don't have one here for a command. Uh, so I'm going to actually go to this site here and you can really just go to any website that has these symbols there. But, uh, this is Apple site. You could actually check the post on I download blog and you will find the symbols that I use here. So here is Apple's website. Here's the command uh, key symbol. I'm just going to right click, copy that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new snippet. All right. And then I'm just going to paste in the command symbol. And then down here for the abbreviation, just put a exclamation point and then CMD. All right, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so now I'm able to put in press command CMD like that so that I have a visual representation of the symbol along with the actual text. I just think it makes for a, a better looking uh, tutorial. It makes for better looking in instructions. You have that visual aspect to it. Um, so I really like using these symbols and that they're so easy to use coupled with text expander. You set up your own little abbreviations and then you can easily insert those at any time without even really thinking about it. So that is just a handy little tip that I'd like to share with you guys. Let me know if you use symbols, first of all, how you use text expander, if you use them together. Uh, and if you think this is a good idea, share your thoughts down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.